Okay, so this is my load. It's a pretty full house. I'm gonna get my dirty aluminum ready and stuff, so I'm just gonna put whatever I can in containers. See if I can find some containers somewhere. Piling to the top, basically. Um, maybe use a couple of these. I don't know, can't believe how it rained a lot last night. Weird. All my tubs are about two inches of water. It's gonna rain again. Uh, trying to get out of the screen. a lot of competition last night so I'm coming back to this a lot of these bottles here a lot of competition That's how I squish them right away so they're ready. And I'm not squishing them later and they're all compact. Same house for for these big ones. To be honest, the big ones are like they're not really worth it because so, they take so much space up and they're heavy. But you know, sometimes like, when it's slow, grab what you can get, right? my dirty aluminum ready too. I'm gonna sell that today. So I'll have to work on it as quick as possible. Okay, let me get another bin here so I could cut cords.
Well, this one here. I like this one here. Barton. Bartonura. That's a cool one there. Look at that. That's cobalt blue. The label's okay too. Well, the best one I found. Just the different areas, like you get the west side where the rich people are. You get some exciting looking bottles, but you know, more like Christmas time, right? Now it's kind of out of the season, right? But uh, you just never know. People could be, you know, celebrating something or stuffing bottles wherever it could. That's why I want to get a bigger van so I could have a, a cargo thing there, like a bulkhead there, and then I could bring my wife. Otherwise, oh, this one's heavy. Hell, HMS chair. Where's a planter? Where's a planter? If you don't think you have a car, you know, a minivan works. You can see the stuff I get. Just gotta pack it. Be patient and pack it properly. It'll take a lot of material. Has my own water. Okay. This lamp here, I thought it was glass or something or china. It ended up being uh, zinc. So we put in a pot metal. You never know. This is going to be dirty, I think.
I'll strip that out. It could, it could be aluminum mortar. This piece of uh, HMS. Everything's just jammed away in there. I was jamming it, I kept jamming and jamming it. So my goal is trying to get twenty thousand. So we'll see tough grind we'll see the ball pickers are in all directions so many yesterday not sure what this is made of good copper maybe main Germany Brass, brass. Okay, it's heavy. So just doing uh, what I've been doing uh, for the last, I don't know, maybe f four months, I've lost about 15 pounds because you're in and out of your car, maybe 200 times in a, in, a, in a night, in and out, in and out, in and out. And now it's like, uh, 
Oh, there's some stone, glass stone here. So it's like a, makes you healthier too, right? There's abalone. I think I got two abalones, I believe. Keeps you healthy, right? I need to lose weight anyways, so. I'm just under 200 now. It used to be like 210, 215 maybe. Well, I was at highest, yeah, about 215, 220 at the highest point, but that was like years ago. So I lost quite a bit over time. When you get older, people gain weight, so it's good to, you know, lose weight, right? Easy to gain weight. Lots of milk jugs. Milk, milk jug city. Stuff adds up. Cans and stuff, right? Car battery. Almost think I'm making something with this. Um, I'll make one and I'll show you. Okay. Hold for a second. Oh. oh, it's heavy. Base is rotted. That's why they chucked it, but sometimes you break down too.
There should be aluminum. Mm. Aluminum is just a bottom piece there. This arm, this is, actually this is aluminum here, so this is this all here. broke before or it's definitely broken now these lots kind of aluminum see it's all value here they even sell dirty too almost well that one's not that much waste on there, so it's probably better to clean it. That's aluminum, look at that, huh? I don't know if that would be cast, maybe, I'm not sure. Probably cast, I would think. Sometimes aluminum. This one's all steel. There we go. Got a little bit head away here. It's actually pretty good for scrap. But I did get quite a few bottles too. The scrap was good. So 
this one I can I can clean the bottom here. It's all that dirty, but it's just it's gonna take a little part, and it's only gonna be like a pound. It's not gonna make a difference. I mean, you gain a quarter maybe, twenty-five cents, but you gotta spend the time taking apart. The wire inside there's usually garbage. Crap wire. Don't said there's no subtitles on one of my videos, but like I don't control them. They usually set on, so not sure. Bunch of stuff here. I didn't even know even what it was. Dark. I only really see so much in the dark. Someone put this scrub bag together. Let's take the brass off there. The hose is just garbage. I don't think it's stainless. It's just. These are new. There's aluminum in here actually. One person comment saying, "How do you know? You, you know, it's it's free to take. Well, if it's in the alley and it's a six foot fence, and and it's in there, if the guy was going to keep it, he wouldn't put it in the alley, right? I know there's sometimes you see hoarder houses, which I don't I don't take this stuff because the hordes coming into the alley. Then I know it's a hoarder, right? But when it's cl a clean, high end neighborhood, well, there was debris on one side for sure. They were they looked like they're cleaning the yard. They cut all the trees, threw them in the alley." And threw that in, but when I first saw it, it was only the rail. Then I came back, and then I seen the uh, uh, the other rubble. So that's why, like I say, but if that was an open area and I saw the guy was renovating, and I know that he was going to put it back, I, I wouldn't touch it, right? Because I see a lot of situations you have to kind of think and look, right? You know, I, you know, I observe what's going on. Some people are, 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 aren't that smart, but most people are. You know, if they're going to reuse something, they're not going to throw one yet, leave in the alley when they got a high fence. Fence was like eight feet high, right? So, like I say, if you don't have, you know, if you're looking for a cheap vehicle, vans are pretty easy, they're cheap, right? You put a lot of stuff in there, just do more trips, right? You know, that works for me. Definitely work for you. See, that's aluminum, right? Changing all my bags to the blue ones because blue ones they are actually really good. They stretch and they're they're nice. I like them. the black ones. They're a bit of a pain. It's all aluminum. See, it all adds up. Everything's so jammed in there.
gonna be this toaster. Because I really, really jammed this in. Like I say, if you, if you um, like, well, see the problem's dirty. They don't pay very much, like even in the states, right? But I used to take these apart for these for dirty, right? But I'm I'm getting just so much of it right now. It's just, and I, I got so many other priorities. I'm I'm not gonna, not gonna clean them. Oh. Heavy cast. I just wonder if that was an old one or something. It looks kind of old. I don't know, but hard to tell. Can I mean I loosen out some of these bed rails and stuff, and then I'll get back to you? Okay, so we got everything out. What a chance to find two steel jacks. Funny, huh? Two steel jacks in a week. I think I found one about five years ago before. Still have it. This one doesn't have a pin, but the other one's all rusted really bad. This one's still might be usable. Not sure if there's a market for those, but maybe someone that's doing a basement rental wants to put a beam up, a temporary beam, you know. You see them in houses once in a while, they frame it in. Um, so, I'm gonna get my aluminum ready, but I wanna drop out a couple of uh, microwaves first, the transforms in that lawnmower. It's 2.53, closes to 4.30, so maybe I'll load the aluminum first, and then whatever timeline I have for the rest. Okay, so, um, maybe I'll wheelbarrow those. Uh, wheelbarrow's used, um, got a cart. On the carts, maybe. See, this cart's crap. If it doesn't work out, I'm trashing this one too. So we just go all over the place. It's just kind of like this one, I think, was a little bit better. A little bit better. The other one, I, I, I trashed the other one because it was not that great. Breakable those things. I don't think they'd be that breakable. That I don't think it was broken. Well, I never shook the box, so it could have been broken. Hard to say. I think I had maybe up, up to two two containers of bottles. It wasn't that much, but that's that area. Like I say, is I gotta sweep all this out. That area is not that good. Well, you get the odd time you'll get uh, whiskey bottles, like I did. Got quite a few whiskeys. I got the Johnny Walkers. Quite a few Johnny Walkers. One guy had about 10, 10 of those. With five or six of those. These are expensive. These ones, I think.
least to, my van's loaded and I'm, I gotta give at least 45 minutes scrap yard. Okay, hold on. They're gonna be closed on Friday. Friday, Saturday they're closed, so I need to get all this stuff done. I'm sure I could strip some of the stuff, but you know, I, I would rather strip something better. There is a lot of contamination on the stuff. Hopefully, we can have. Hopefully, between three to four hundred pounds. Like I'm putting some better stuff in here too, that so that you know they appreciate it too, and load looks a little better than some of the crappier stuff. But uh, hmm. I don't know if I have a use for that. That's the problem. Let's talk about all these things, but I don't use them. That's the problem. Ideally, if I finish fill a bin up, that'd be good. Fill the bin. the post is those tires too so bunch of stuff here still Let's get rid of that bike too, but 
to see what I can do if I can fold it down somehow. Make it smaller. Heavy, heavy mortars. So weight comes from these, these mortars. That's where a lot of weight comes from. I'll think about that one for now. Not really that bad condition. But there's probably something wrong with it because he was pretty wobbly. I don't know if that would be like normal. If I knew how it folds, his pin's loose here maybe. screw this here take off the fabric and then maybe we can somehow jimmy it in there okay hold on the prize is no release for this I think if you want to wash this screws in all directions. We took about 10 out. I think that would come out. This one's the only steel piece. So I just wonder how it does come out. fold it. No real Folded now. There's some trick there, but it might have been this this thing or something. But anyways, whatever. I see buggies all the time, but just some of them don't fold up because they're jammed or something, and that's why they chuck them out. The aluminum wheels, good value that one for them. For them. Okay, I'm gonna charge my battery, but I'm gonna clean those tires in the meanwhile. Um, 
rid of my cutter go. So I just mess and this. You know, just show you one if you're new to my channel. I usually just cut this with that. The screwdriver is damaged, but I use a big screwdriver. I just go down right there, like that around. And I take this to recycle center so this tire is recycled. And I cut this off here, just a little bit of brass. We'll do one more. Because I know I'm constantly getting new new followers and so Ooh, that's a big one. That's a lot of pressure there, wow. New followers, followers and stuff, but see, see how the screwdriver like that? You just go like that. We need a long screwdriver. And you can get them at used to be Sears. I'm not sure who got who has them now. Okay, that's my load there, so I'm gonna say 400 pounds. There is quite a bit of stuff there. There's transformers and I don't know, maybe six or seven engines, lawnmower engines. Five, six, seven, maybe. Six or seven, anyways. Okay, we'll take it back. One less thing. Okay, this thing's been here all night. Oh, it's aluminum. I'm um, stainless steel. It's been here all night. I thought someone would take it. It's got a good mortar too. I thought it'd be gone. There was actually a hood fan here. Someone took the hood fan. Oh, it's a very heavy one. I don't know why it's so heavy. There's something inside it. Like it's it's more than no more than normal. Wow. That's a super heavy one. It must be an old one. Like I'm talking about, it's never normally that heavy. It's already sh shedding. Wow, no one took it. I cannot believe it. Sat here sat here all day all night since about uh i was here well the wife saw it she told me about about i don't know about five o'clock yesterday he's got three stainless steels kicking around right now i'll put a magnet on it again because sometimes i have the magnet back backwards oh no stainless steel wow that's an awesome The bag there, I'm gonna kick that bag there, see what's in that bag. Sometimes people put balls, that looks like leaves and crap. It's too many uh sharp things. Okay, okay, so uh I'll give you totals here of that uh dirty aluminum. It was actually really really heavy. More heavy than I thought. 533 pounds. Pretty heavy there. And it was um 36 cents a pound, 533 surcharge for grand total, 186.55, 186.55, so pretty good. Happy about that, so that was uh, quite a bit there. And it wasn't a lot, really, it fit one of their cube containers. Uh, so that's awesome. Uh, right now, like I say, I'm gonna call the video here. You guys have a great day, thanks for watching.